Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Sunday. I'm so glad to be back with a new episode of Happy Hour with Belle and Friends. In the past couple of weeks, I have done a lot of thinking and a lot of planning for the next few episodes, and I'm happy to report that it's starting to look like a lot of fun. As fun as it gets, of course, with all the live concerts canceled, at least for the rest of the summer, or maybe even for the rest of the year. We all miss live music. And what gets me the most is the uncertainty. That said, this social confinement situation has created an environment where many interesting ideas are now being conceived and new possibilities are opening up. Just like the one we are taking advantage of today, and I will tell you about that in a minute. Tonight, as promised, we are presenting you with a program of Russian music. You will hear compositions by great Russian composers Tchaikovsky and Rachmaninoff. And one uh, who is not so wildly known, um, his name is Anton Rubinstein. As for the performers, first I would like to introduce to you, reintroduce to you actually, my wonderful and talented friend, pianist Shoshana Hakobian. With Shoshana we have been collaborating uh, for a few years right, by now, and um, it's been nothing but thrilling, frankly. Shoshana also has some great news which I will deliver to you. First of all, she just finished a new book. It is a piano method for beginners of all ages. The book is coming out in June and I already had um, a first peek at it. Not only this book is a great companion for every student and a teacher, it is also full of wonderful music to play and a lot of it Shoshana composed herself for the first time. And uh, a second piece of great news about her is that she is starting her PhD studies at USC this fall, which is, I am sure, quite overwhelming, <laughs> but also incredibly exciting. Without any further ado, this is Shoshana Hakobian with a prelude in G sharp minor by Sergei Rachmaninoff. Hello everyone. I'm happy to greet you from my studio and thank you Veronica for one more opportunity joining you in this beautiful event. I'm really happy to be with you guys and I am sure that our music today will brighten your day. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
A few years back, when I was in New York, I met this wonderful Russian lady named Victoria Koreneva. She happened to be a great singer, a composer, an arranger, and a founder of a Diction Buddy app that allows singers to learn and practice pronunciation in foreign languages. And if that wasn't enough, she also happened to be one of the coolest people I have ever met, with a lovely personality and a great sense of humor. For a couple of years now, we've been talking on and off about performing together, but no real possibility came along, and our talks just kind of stayed what it was, um, just talks. But now that we're exploring the uh, distant performing possibilities, I am beyond thrilled to introduce Victoria to you all the way from New York. And that is a little perk of our social isolation situation that I just mentioned in the beginning. Uh, for tonight, she has chosen to perform one of my favorite songs of all times, called Don't Sing to Me or Fair Maiden by Rachmaninoff. Don't Sing to Me or Fair Maiden, the songs of Georgia. They remind me of my past life in a faraway land. Alas, your music reminds me of the prairie and the night and the image of a beautiful woman in the moonlight. I forget her lovely spirit when I see you, but once you start singing, the painful memories come rushing back to me. Don't sing to me, O oh fair maiden, the sad songs of Georgia. They remind me of my past life in a faraway land. Here is Victoria Korneva performing Don't Sing to Me, O oh fair maiden, by Sergei Rachmaninoff.
And now I will join Victoria in a duet from opera Eugene Onegin by Peter Tchaikovsky. In the opera, this duet belongs to two sisters, Tatiana and Olga. The two girls live with their mother, their nanny and their servants in their country home. And just like every girl back then, <laughs> they're concerned with whom they are going to marry. They're both in love. Olga, um, the younger sister, she's in love with a young boy, her childhood friend, Vladimir Lensky. Tatiana, however, is in love with an older man, a friend of the family, Eugene Onegin. Both girls end up not marrying the man they love. Lensky gets killed in a duel and Onegin rejects Tatiana's love. And the duet uh, Tatiana and Olga sing in the beginning of this opera sounds like a musical uh, premonition of sort of the sad days of heartbreak in their future. Have you ever heard the sound of song in the forest? The song of love, the song of sadness. When the fields were silent before the hour of dawn, the sound of a flute, simple and haunting. Have you ever sighed, listening to the quiet voice, the voice of love, the voice of sadness? When in the fields you met a young man and looked into his eyes, empty and lifeless. Have you ever sighed? Here is a duet of Tatiana and Olga from opera Eugene Onegin by Tchaikovsky. Слыхали, 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 слыхали
I want to once again thank both Victoria and Shoshana for being with us tonight. Victoria needs to go because um, it is three hours later in New York and she has neighbors and she cannot sing all night. Thank you so much, my dear friend. I am hoping for some possibilities of live performances in the future. <laughs> Bye. Um, as for Shoshana, I want to keep her a little bit longer with us and perform one of my favorite songs for you, a song by Anton Rubinstein called Night. My voice full of love and passion for you once again disturbs the silence of the night. Near my bed a lonely candle is burning. The lines of my poems are meandering and sparkling like streams of love, my love for you. In the darkness your eyes are glowing in front of me and I hear your voice saying to me, I love you, I am yours. in our little series. They are all donating their time and their talent to our uh, audiences in a situation where it's already pretty difficult for every musician and every artist because of all the live concerts 
being cancelled. Thank you so very much, all of you, from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, wonderful audience, for joining us tonight. If you like our series, please click share and let other people know that we're having these concerts every Sunday. Uh, you can also find this and all the past episodes at my website at www.veronicabellsoprano.com and also on my YouTube channel. Uh, you also can find out more about our performance tonight from the description uh, that I put in this episode if you just click on the links. My CD Midnight Affairs is also available. It is on sale on my website until the end of the quarantine, whenever that might happen. <laughs> Please be safe. Please stay healthy. Stay home and take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we will see you again next Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Daytime in our virtual club happy hour with Belle and friends. See you soon. Good night.